Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of cloud computing. Today's topic is cloud computing architecture. In this video, you will be able to understand how to draw the cloud computing architecture, what are the various components and how to explain them. Let us begin. First, you need to understand what is cloud computing. See, cloud computing is defined as the on-demand availability of computer system resources like data storage and computing power. And this is done without direct active management by the users means the objective of the cloud computing is to give access to the data centers to many users and users can access the data from anywhere, anytime all around the world, right? Here you can observe this is the cloud computing architecture. This is cloud. You can observe there are some servers, some virtual machines, platforms, software platforms, applications, data storage and with the help of the internet connections, end users can communicate and interact with the cloud. You can see here there are end users also. Now let us draw and discuss in detail about the architecture. You can see this is the detailed architecture over here and in this architecture you can observe that this cloud architecture is being divided into two parts. One is the front end and the other is the back end. And the cloud computing architecture, this is the combination of service oriented architecture and event driven architecture, right? So before understanding the components individually, first let us understand what is front end and what is back end. See, front end is what? Front end, this is used by the client itself and the front end of the cloud architecture it means uh, the user interface and the applications which are actually used by the clients to access the cloud computing resources or cloud computing services means this is used by the client other is the backend backend means it is the cloud itself right or it you can say backend is used by the service provider and it contains resources it manages resources which are required to provide cloud computing services so here you can observe in the backend it includes huge storage service mechanism virtual applications virtual machines servers traffic control mechanism so many things so many things are available in the back end so i hope now it must be clear to you what is front end and what is back end now understand the components first you can observe over here this is the client infrastructure client infrastructure you can observe this is the part of the front end right and it contains the applications and the user interface which are actually required to access the cloud platform. Or you can understand it in a manner, uh, suppose client has developed certain applications. For example, you can name few applications, Zomato, Ola, Uber. So client has developed some applications and client has hosted on the cloud itself. So that is what the client infrastructure is. Second, you can observe over here internet. See, internet connection is very, very important because the internet connection is the only thing because of which there is a, there is a establishment of uh, connection and the communication interaction can happen in between the front end and the back end. It means internet connection acts as a medium or a bridge in between front end and back end. Next component is the applications. Applications may be some softwares or some uh, platforms to which client accesses, right? Means any kind of softwares or programs, for example, you can say Windows or Linux, those are what means the applications means it provides the services in the back end as per the client requirement. Now come to the next component, which is the service. Service means which type of service user want to access right the type of service user want to access that would be according to their requirement so they, it, uh, it offers three different types of services three different types of services first is SaaS software as a service software as a service means some applications or softwares which are created by the client right 
and these services uh, and these uh, means uh, applications uh, they are distributed as a service right so it means this is a software distribution model you can say right software distribution model in which cloud cloud provider host applications and make them available to the end users right end user means the cloud and the, it will be available over the internet only some of the common examples you must remember that google apps salesforce dropbox cisco webex these are what the software as a service second is the platform as a service means it is a complete development and deployment environment in the cloud with the resources uh, that enables you to deliver everything means from a simple cloud based applications to the sophisticated cloud enabled enterprise applications so platform as a service means this platform as a service and infrastructure as a service these are owned and managed by the cloud providers you must remember it and platform means the services as a package the complete services as a package so some of the examples of uh, pass is azure app services aws elastic beans google app engine third is the infrastructure as a service means it is a type of cloud computing service which offers essential computing storage networking resources and all these resources is being provided depending upon the demand of the clients and as the clients demand as the client usage the clients has to pay for it it means these services have been offered or provided to the clients depending upon the demand on the basis of the pay per use basis and the examples are azure vm aws ec2 google cloud compute engine so these are the examples of the infrastructure as a service next is the runtime cloud see what happens runtime cloud means uh, its its objective or the functionality is to provide the execution and runtime environment to the virtual machines that is why it is important next to this is the storage storage means there must be a requirement to store huge amount of data so it provides flexible and scalable storage service and which is actually managed to store the data right that is what the storage is next to this is the infrastructure infrastructure means some kind of hardware software components like you can say servers storage network devices virtualization softwares other storage resources that is what all the infrastructure is coming to the next is the security here you can observe is security means because we are talking about the cloud computing a lots of data is being uh, stored uh, clients can store the data on the cloud itself means security just refers the way of implementation of different security mechanism and this is actually done at the back end so that to ensure that the cloud resources the data system files infrastructures to the end users they are all secure that is what the security is and the last component is the management management means there are various like components so management refers to the managing of back end components back end components as you can observe application service runtime cloud storage infrastructure and other security mechanism so its responsibility is to manage everything that is how you can define the function functionality of each and every component i hope now it must be clear to you this is what i have explained to you you can take a note here i have listed out the functionality the features of the components of the cloud computing thank you so much for watching this video